Hi friends, welcome back to another day of reading. So glad you're here. Today we are going to be diving into fiction stories. Remember what I always say about fiction stories. Fiction is fake, friends. Now today we're going to look at fiction stories and we're going to think about how fiction stories have characters. Friends, strong readers really pay attention to the characters in their books. Did you know there are two types of characters? <clears throat> so fiction stories have two types of characters. Let's, let's learn more about this. There are main characters. That's who the book is mostly about. That's the most important character. That character usually does most of the talking. For example, in the story DW All Wet that we read last week, the main character was DW. I have that picture right here. Remember, DW All Wet? DW is in the title. She is the most important character. DW is the main character. The other type of character, are the supporting characters. They're the other characters in the book who interact with the main character, or they do things with the main character. They are not who the story is mostly about. For example, in D.W. All Wet, some supporting characters are Arthur, Mom and Dad, and Buster. They're in the story, but they're not who the story is mostly about and they do things with DW, like they go to the beach with her. Now let's look at some more examples and see if we can figure out which character in these books is the main character and which character in these books is the supporting character. Let's look at that book, Jabari Jumps. We've been going over this book in labs together. So let's think back in Jabari Jumps, who do you think is the main character? And who do you think are the supporting characters? Think. Let's see if you got it right. Yes, Jabari is the main character. He is who the book is mostly about. He's even on the cover page and in the title, just like D.W. All Wet. And you got it. Dad and sister are the supporting characters. They go to the pool with Jabari. They watch him jump. They do things with Jabari, but they are not who the story is mostly about. They are the supporting characters. Let's try another one. Think back to the big red lollipop book we read in labs together. Now think, who was the main character? And who was the supporting characters? Hmm. Let's see if you got it. Yes, Rubina was the main character. Throughout the book, because the story is told from her point of view, most of the time she calls herself I. But we do hear that her name is Rubina. Rubina is who the story is mostly about, okay? Let's see if you got the supporting characters. Yes! The supporting characters are Ami and Sana. They do things with Rubina, but they are not who the story is mostly about. So today, for your assignment, you're gonna go grab a fiction book, and remember, fiction is fake. Grab a fiction book and notice the characters as you're reading. Okay, you're gonna read for 14 minutes and you always have that choice to read a Just Right book, read on Raz Kids, or read on Epic. Read for 14 minutes and then you're gonna list the main character of the book you read and one supporting character, okay? The main character is gonna go here. Then you're gonna tell us, how do you know that's the main character? You're gonna list one supporting character here and tell us, how do you know that's the supporting character? You can type it in the Google Doc. You can write these answers in your notebook. You can print out the worksheet. Or you can record a video of you answering these questions. OK? 
Okay, that choice is up to you. This is a space for you to add a picture if you want to. This is my teacher example. I chose to write the answers in my notebook. This is from the book, DW All Wet. Okay. And that's all I have for our lesson today. So go grab that fiction book, start reading those characters, and we cannot wait to see what characters you all are reading about. All right, bye friends.